Hello everyone, my name is Jerry. Today I'm going to show you how to manage all your email addresses in one place and that's in Gmail. I'm sure many of you have a personal Gmail address and also a business email address that has your website domain name in it. In, in Wealthy Affiliate, we have an option to create a new email mailbox or a new email folder. And since we can only manage our email website email address in webmail, the email hostings, the email hosting will be their users. It's pretty troublesome to manage email at different hosts. So many of you tend to create an email forward to your personal email address instead of a new mailbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your website email into your Gmail step so that you can send and receive website emails in Gmail instead of webmail. Let's get started. So first we we cannot create we cannot add the email address into Gmail with a email forward. So here I want to do it with smartfieldsuccess.com and I want to delete the forward the email forward. Next I create a new mailbox. Choose a domain, create, and it's here. So now go to your Gmail Gmail account. See the setting button here. Choose settings, accounts, and import. Check email from other accounts. Add an email account. And you'll see this pop up. Now you copy the email, the, your website email, to this pop up. Click next. Import emails from my other account, pop3. Next. The username is the same. And the pass password is the password here. You can click the SMTP settings and the password is the is this one. Leave the re remaining of the settings this as default. Click add account. Save. Choose yes i want to be able to send email as this address next if you choose the your name you want to display for this email and i won't choose i won't check the treat as an alias next step now here is a, a, a bit different for this part, you need to use the second half of these SMTP settings. Choose port 25 as shown here in, in WA. No, here's the important part. You need to change this to site rubrics. Or else there will be an error. The username will be this instead of the first one. And the task password will be this. Just copy and paste. Done. Add account. And wait for a while and you are done. Now you need to verify this email address. So go to your go to you log into webmail inside WA. Password Let me check my Gmail account. And yes, sorry, then you you do not need to log into 
webmail. The confirmation email will be directly sent to your Gmail. Then you have two options. You can copy the code here and paste it here to verify. Or you can click the link here and confirm. Now you're done. And let's try compose a new email. You can see here, you can choose to send email from this new address that we add here. And let's go to the settings. So now you have this email added in here. You can make this default or you can make all you can remain as your personal email address. It's fine, it's depend it's up to you. Anyway, you can change this setting while you are composing or sending a new new email address. So it doesn't really matter. So we are done. Thanks for watching this training. I hope enjoy it. and I hope you enjoy it. Please leave me comments below if you have any questions. Alright?